Hello busy dads and busy people everywhere. I've just finished my Navy SEAL session. I'm in my ice bath right now and I wanted to share with you the results. I really needed to take some pressure off today, which is why I didn't record a message before the workout began. I didn't really want to commit to any targets. I didn't want to just put any pressure on myself given what happened yesterday. And I also went in with a much more modest game plan. I hit 126 earlier on this week, and my target was to put one rep on top of that, which I did. 127 reps. I'm pretty pleased with that. It's so strange with that movement, the way my relationship with it changes. There are times when I feel like I can do Navy SEALs forever. Earlier in the summer with my friend Nothar, I managed 150 which is the graduation number, and I have to tell you, I said it at the time, I felt like I had another five or ten reps in the bag, like I was deliberately holding back. And yet, in today's session, and really in every session for a while, I feel like I'm, I'm really fighting against um, my own body to keep going from very early on in the workout. It's the way it felt yesterday as well in those six counts, they just felt slow. When I spoke on the podcast with Lee, he suggested that life stress could be a factor. And it's true that right now, although I've just finished my dissertation, so you'd think that a big load had been lifted, I'm in a period of uncertainty right now. I don't know what's coming next to me, and perhaps those background life stresses have been playing into things. Who knows? In any case, the workout is done, and I really, really want to send out the message to all of you that when you have a discouraging workout like the one that I did yesterday, you will feel a temptation to shirk your next session. I delayed my session today. I felt myself using delay tactics. It's so, so important just to come back, draw a line, get back to work. I feel so good now for having completed that session. It would have been the worst feeling that I would have carried with me over the whole weekend if I'd skipped that session. Get it done. Take pride in showing up. Take pride in cultivating consistency. <sighs> now you can see here I am sitting in my ice bath. Um, this is the first time that I've done this post-workout. Usually it's something I do at the very beginning of the day. Um, and so I'm interested to explore the benefits of, of, ice, of ice water for recovery. But in future weeks, stay tuned, I'm going to be putting out a lot of videos describing the unbelievable benefits that I've been able to glean from beginning a, a cold water practice in an immersion setting rather than with the cold shower. I've spoken about cold showers in the past, but the immersion is, is a game changer. It's a real game changer, and if it's at all possible for you to begin a practice like this, there's nothing I would recommend more. I would put it right up there with quitting alcohol and starting a burpee practice as something that you can do that will just change your life. Um, so stay tuned for videos in future weeks about the benefits of cold water and my own journey with that. For now, here is 127 sessions, uh, seals, a redemptive session for me. I hope that if any of you are fighting against demoralizing sessions, you will get out there, redeem yourself, and set yourself up for a wonderful weekend with the people that you love. I'll see you all again soon, my friends. Six, 
exercise. Two, four, five, 
pictures. Seventy-three. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy-four. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy-four. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy-four. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine
27. 